So what happens, man, when they put that J in front? What happens when they tell us to call on this energy that is Zeus? And if you know that it's Zeus, then why not, you know what I'm saying, call him, uh, you know, Joshua? If, if, if you're okay with the J's, just call him Joshua, right? Because now you're in a situation where you got to choose your Joshua. You got to choose who you're giving power to. Because when you put the chronology back together, all this is happening at the same time, man. We're talking the 1100s. We're talking the 1200s. And here's, this, here's the ultimate hijack switcheroo. So they give us this Zeus and say, this is your, this is your Mashiach, right? All power's now been given to this Mashiach, right? And you wonder why we're dying. Because their Zeus demands bloody sacrifice. Their Ra demands bloody sacrifice. We wonder why we are being jammed up. Why we're in this position, man. We got to take it back to the Papa Va. Because you're talking about the framer and the shaper. The framer refers to one who makes something by putting things together. Mama. We're talking about a meal from various ingredients. Mama, that's your ha, that's your breath, your shaper, your wa. Fifth, fifth in the six letters of the pictopaleo, right? The shaper refers to one who makes something by modeling, putting things together, a sculptor from carved stone, thus giving shape to an otherwise amorphous substance. Who gives you shape? That's your vibration. Who puts it all together? That's mama, putting the ingredients together. Now, this pair of powers, right, this framer and shaper, this is the power of the Tanakh. This is your actual power. And they knew that there was a difference between this and the New Testament. It's not drop separating this. They separated it from the top, but then they fused it together for your spell. This pair of gods, right, was so important that soon after your invasion, this Domenico Vicio referred to the god he used their root names framer and shaper this t a cool and bit tall to refer to the power of the old testament testament that's the to knock so when we look at this and it has two different energies one is the savior over here and the other you know the creator is the savior now you got the son of david you're 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 you know what i'm saying riding with over here you're rocking with david directly over here, you got the son of God you're rocking with. Back there, you were rocking with the creator directly. I mean, you're going to have to connect it. You're going to have to choose your Joshua. You're going to have to choose your Quetzal, my Naga. <laughs> you're going to have to choose your Quetzal, my Naga. Hey, man. Hey, love to Paco, man. We got to take it to the beginning. Hey, Book of the Beginnings by Gerald Massey, man. Great doc. As Shu and Anhar in the Egyptian mythology and Moses and Joshua conducted their people with the solar orb round the circle of signs overcoming the opposing powers postulated by the early men. So in Toltec mythology, uh oh, Sylvanus Toltec is Solomon the Builder, Hawa Mach or Hawa Matzin and Quetzalcoatl, Quetzal, choose your Quetzal. <laughs> Conducted their people through the pilgrimage and wanderings recorded in picture writings. Picto, Hoa Mak, like Moshe, wrote the code of laws. Keep the code for the nation. So we got an indigenous, you know, name of Moshe, Hoa Mak. And then you got an indigenous name of who? Kitsukoto, in relation to Hoa Mak, plays the part of Joshua. Uh-oh, is this true? Because Kitsukoto did lead his people to the promised land. Joshua did lead his people to the promised land. When Kitsukoto began to give the laws, instead of Hawamak, he sent the crier to the top of the Mount of Alcry, whose voice could be heard for 300 miles around. Joshua follows Moses as the leader of Israel and instructs the people to go up against Jericho, his Mount of Alcry, and to sell it with a shout that ought to have been heard at an equal distance, and it was loud enough to make the walls fall flat. The old red land was the name of the original home in the north from which the Toltecs migrated. This is all Israel. Their leader, Kitsukoto, wore a robe marked with crosses. <laughs> Choose your Joshua. He has a robe marked with crosses. What do they signify? The signal identifies him as the one who crosses. Uh-oh. Kitsukoto attained the land of promise. He made it to the promised land with the people, with our people. 
and in his golden reign an air of way grew so large that one could hardly carry it joshua led the people into the land flowing with milk and honey where a single bunch of grapes was a load for two men look man there's a connection between this joshua and kitsukoto but what do the mormons call him man in ancient america foundation hit me up for all these links i got y'all kitsukoto is who they call jesus christ <laughs> Uh-oh, choose your Joshua. The Mormons know something you don't. The Mormons know that the real priest king is Joshua. Uh-oh, because they're going to put it all together in real time, man. See, the Kitzel was the name of the beautiful bird and resplendent long green feathers and a dainty crest. Koalto is the ancient Mexican word for serpent or dragon. So you got this lofty, beautiful rainbow dragon as Joshua. Thus the name Kitsukoto literally means Kitzel bird, serpent, or dragon. Kitsukoto was the name applied to the new world god or the Mashiach, right? Who was in the form of a man, bearded, white robed, and a great teacher. So you don't even think about Kitsukoto as this bearded man with a white robe, right? And a great teacher of moral principles. That's the law, my naga. He taught the law, my naga. We're talking priest and king, right? Joshua is a prester. Joshua is a Mashiach. The Koalto and serpent, or the dragon and this crest, this rainbow crest, was an ancient symbol of Israel's Messiah. Body bag for the illusion. So choose your Joshua. Because this Joshua led you to the promised land. This Joshua is a Mashiach. And what did they do? They gave you a fake Joshua Naga. They gave you a fake Joshua Naga. What did they do? Man, what did they do to the Naga? They gave you a fake Mashiach, my Naga. That does what? Only represents what, man? Come on, man. This black Christ conveys a clear sense of indigenous identity. It symbolizes the condition and fate of the indigenous people. They formed this symbol after they invaded and vanquished you. Papu Bull, Doom Diverses, 1452. Then they put this symbol on our people. Now this is what you worship, whether you say you do or don't. Because you call on this name. You don't call directly on Hawa. You've forgotten the ancient name. We're going to continue, man, talking about Hawa, the creator. But, Managa, you've forgotten the ancient name of the creator. A highly prominent name was that of Hawa. It was the most ancient name, Hawa, for the creator. And it's easily identified from a Hebrew verb meaning to form or to shape or to mold. What? To form or to mold. Back to the Papu Va refers to one who makes something by molding we're talking about giving shape to an otherwise amorphous substance the framer and the shaper are the most frequently mentioned powers involved in the creation of the world and its inhabitants that's why Domenico de Vicio used their root names to refer to the power of the Old Testament only only because what's rule number one? You should have no power before me, man, beside me. Don't call on nothing else next to me. Every Mashiach just brought you back to the water and said to do what? Call directly on Hawa only and make no more images, my nigga. Because we're bringing it on home. Oh, we're bringing it on home. Right? Because... Moses said, what should, what should the people call you? What should the people call you? Hawa said, I am. Or what? Eya, right? Or what? Heya. Oh, we're getting closer. Heya. Or what? Oh, because, you know, Yahweh, the hypothetical reconstruction of the tetragrammaton, and hypothetical, right? Jehovah, right? Based on the assumption of the tetragrammaton is the imperfective of the Hebrew verb. What? Hawa! Earlier form of Heya. Halal. 
ว่า